Your work ethic and determination in the face of adversity and naysayers is truly inspiring. What's next for you in your artistic career? I mean, now we've dropped five albums and four mixtapes, two solo records. I think it might be time to start rocking eyeliner and put out a Scandinavian black metal devil worshiping album, you know, try to switch it up a bit. I've accomplished a lot, you know, but there's so much more to do. Like I've been on MTV, VH1, BET, TMZ, TNN, CNN, DIY, Law & Order SVU. People stopped asking me what FM stands for and rappers don't give me demos anymore. So yeah, things are looking real good. Well, I've only got about 14 more years left on this child support payment. So, so far so good. Yeah, I ain't doing music no more. I'm legally a pimp now, bitch. I've been uh, hanging out with Session a lot. I might actually do a solo album one day. No. No. K O K A Y I Kokai. Kanye Kantakya T? Man, where do you hear the letter T? Alrighty. In my many years as a journalist and music fan, I must say, Q and Five Music has some of the most uniquely compelling and artistically sound hip hop music I've ever heard. How does it feel to have spearheaded a movement that has touched so many people from all over the world? I mean, overall, I'm just honored and amazed that we've gotten this far. Blue Schoolers are quite literally the best fans on the fucking planet. They've made all of this possible. But honestly, for as much as we've done, I know I can speak on behalf of the rest of the crew when I say that we've only really scratched the surface of what we're capable of. Our new shit is easily the best work we've done so far. Would you be so kind as to let us hear some of it? Well, you heard them, fellas. Let's give them what they want. <laughs> 